Oh, Snap. We're going to talk about Snapchat cutting 20% of its staff. They're not doing originals. They're not doing originals. They were going to do movies or some crap like that. Anyway, we're going to talk about this. This is Neon. This is Clownfish TV. And this is the implosion of tech, the implosion of social media. Uh, it seems like every other day we're doing videos talking about how some tech company or social media company is laying off people. Uh, the recession, you know, the recession that's not actually a recession, they claim, uh, is definitely taking a toll on Silicon Valley. And we're gonna talk more about this. We're also gonna talk about Substack, reining in cash and perks for writers. This explains why there's been kind of a, a, a retreat. Is that what they're calling it? A retreat with comic book people. Uh, so stay tuned. Speaking of comic books, Crimson Run Volume 1 is funding on Indiegogo, written by Geeky and myself, drawn by Jose Garcia. It's over 130 pages of full-color graphic novel goodness. If you guys want to support this comic, help us get this comic made, it would be much appreciated. I'll put a link in the comments. As always, look at this art. This is some beautiful art. Anyway, guys, let's talk about this coming from The Hollywood Reporter. Snap, you know, Snapchat, Snapchat. Snap to cut 20% of staff. Snap Originals scrapped in major restructuring. How the hell are they gonna do movies on Snap? Uh, is that like Quibi? Where the hell that thing was called? The company which employs over 6,000 full-time staffers will restructure to focus on community growth and revenue growth and augmented reality. Augmented reality. It's gonna lay off 20% of its workforce on Wednesday according to a memo from Snap CEO uh, Evan Spiegel sent to employees. The layoffs will see more than 1,200 employees cut, with the company expecting to save about $500 million. Uh, the scale of these changes vary from team to team, depending on the level of prioritization and investment needed to execute against our strategic priorities. Basically, do we need you? Yes or no. Are you performing? Yes or no. Okay, goodbye. The extent of this reduction should substantially reduce the risk of ever having to do this again while balancing our desire to invest in our long-term future and re-accelerate our revenue growth. Yeah, they've um, they've lost a lot of uh, value. They've lost a lot of value. Employees impacted by the cuts will receive at least four months of severance, so that's good. With the company telling shareholders it expects to take as much as $175 million in contract termination and impairment costs, uh, Spiegel outlined a complete restructuring of the company, which will see it refocus its efforts in certain key areas. As a result, the company's Snap Originals content push will be scrapped, and instead content from creators and partners will be prioritized. So they were going to create uh, shows or TV. Um, Snap Originals were company-funded original programming. This year's slate included programs from the D'Amelio family and uh, Gymnast, the company says all programs have already been ordered. Uh, the ones that have been ordered will be run as planned. We're proud of the work we've done to enable creators and partners to tell great stories on Snapchat. Why are they trying to get into TV shows? That's stupid. People don't go to Snapchat for that. That's probably why they're they're refocusing. Refocusing. Why do people go to Snapchat? Funny filters. Um, funny filters. They say, good luck, America will continue its run. Uh, NBC has NBC News' Stay Tuned and ESPN has Sports Center. They're gonna continue programming made by partners for the platform. So just their own stuff they're cutting. Um, original programming was not the only business line cut. Spiegel wrote the company is restructuring to increase focus on our three strategic priorities, community growth, revenue growth, and augmented reality. One of these things is not like the other. We're gonna grow the community, okay, cool. We're gonna grow our revenue, awesome. And also the metaverse, augmented reality. Um, <laughs> they're gonna cut minis and games. Again, this is just like Facebook. Facebook cut Facebook gaming. It didn't, it didn't pay, it didn't pan out for them. So they have standalone apps, Boise and Zenly. I, I haven't heard of either one of these. These social media companies need to focus on, on what they do best and they keep trying to overreach. Same with Facebook. Facebook is for sharing funny cat videos. It's for uh, giving your political hot takes, but not too hot. You can't give too hot of a hot take on Facebook anymore. And it's basically for grandma to see pictures of the kids and they need to stick to that. They keep trying to overreach. Snap was cool, you know, quick little videos and funny face filters and stuff like that. And then they're like, hey, let's, let's do uh, uh, programming. And it's not working out for them very well, but it just seems like 
all these tech companies are imploding. This feels like a second dot-com bubble. And for those of you who are too young to remember, the uh, dot-com bubble burst in the was it late 90s, early 2000s. There were tons of websites, tons of e-commerce sites that went belly up virtually overnight. It took longer than that. It was a couple of months. I was just getting into web, web uh, development back when this happened. But um, I remember people were like buying domains and squatting on them and people were going to open stores and all this other stuff. And then it just like poof, almost overnight disappeared and the internet had to rebuild. And that's what this feels like. It feels like a, a dot-com bubble burst for mostly social media. It seems like a lot of social media startups. And again, I think this is tied to not just the recession, but the venture capital running out. A lot of these companies spent in places that were uh, uh, not really smart. And they thought, well, we've got infinite money so we can do whatever. And uh, if we lose a couple hundred million dollars, whatever, and uh, it's not working out very well for them. Substack was another one that had a bunch of venture capital. They were one that had uh, they had a ton of venture capital. They were trying to throw at writers, uh, you know, established journalists, trying to pull them away from platforms. You know, the New York Times, and we had uh, you know comic book creators getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to come over to Substack and post digital comics, and it was never sustainable. I mean, it really wasn't. I mean, the idea of paying for uh, blog content, you know, it works if you have a dedicated audience. It's kind of like Patreon. It was basically Substack was like merging Patreon with with blogging, but um, long term it was never really sustainable. Especially if you look at the business model, a lot of the uh, the comic book content, you were free to take that to whatever publisher you wanted. They just wanted to bring your audience to their platform, and people took the money and ran. And comics got cut early, and now they're they're cutting back on on uh, everybody else too because they didn't get venture capital. Substack uh, shook up traditional media last year offering six-figure cash advances and benefits including healthcare to recruit writers for a newsletter platform that publishes high-profile authors like Barry Weiss and Glenn Greenwald. But this year, the San Francisco startup has told some writers that scaling back such perks, joining a group of tech companies, reassessing the way they lure independent writers and online performers after a frenzied battle for talent in the past two years. Uh, it's coming to an end. Uh, some newsletter writers say Substack earlier this year told them it would be reducing the frequency of upfront payments. The five-year-old company, which has raised $82 million from investors, from investors, also said it has cut a uh, health care subsidy it was offering to some of the top writers. It's not uh, being as aggressive in offering support services, such as access to image repositories and legal help to attract new writers. Substack co-founder Hamish McKenzie said in an interview, although it's continuing to offer them to writers who already publish on the service. Basically, they're not going to throw money at people to bring new people to the platform because they don't have it. Um, he said 2021 was a year we could be less cautious in terms of how we use our resources to help writers get off the ground and help them start their businesses. Now we have to be much more cautious. We have to think ahead. We can't just bank on easy to get venture capital at good prices to be there to be able to pass on the writers immediately. Okay, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. Um, and it seems like it's being cut across the board. Instagram was uh, given money to people for posting reels. Uh, which is like their TikTok competitor, I guess. Um, they've been cutting that up to 70%, uh, up to 70% per view. Last month, Instagram's parent company, Meta Platforms Facebook, confirmed it was moving resources away from its one-year-old newsletter platform, Bulletin, although it isn't shutting down the product. Tired of the restrictions and yada, yada, yada. Um, so we're not gonna talk about that. Basically what we're gonna talk about is the money is running out. A lot of people were taking really good deals when they could, uh, Snapchat originals, Substack deals, and the people were in for a very rude awakening. And uh, you know, YouTubers aren't immune to that. Um, bloggers aren't immune to that. I think that uh, you know, a lot of influencers were used to all this free cash because it came from venture capital, but it's all running out. We are absolutely headed for some kind of uh, financial iceberg, whether you wanna call it a recession or a depression or just a, a minor setback, but apparently everybody is battening down the hatches in Silicon Valley. Um, they're battening down the hatches in Hollywood. Look at what's go going on with Warner right, right now. And uh, people are slowly waking up to the fact that the money does indeed run out. 
going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.